Thursday. Hope everybody's having a good day so far. Back here, daily sea. No tunes taking on these citrons, Genesis's. Get my shop milk. Cheers. Still don't have the good stuff yet. Just the little shots. All right. Click that over to there. This thing doesn't freeze. It's frozen on me a couple times. So I was getting things ready. So here goes nothing. As you see on screen there, we got the very bright liveried Cayman. We're gonna give it a go. Let's see what it's all about. Where's the scotch? What's up, buns? How you doing? Ooh, scotch at uh, 9:22 in the morning. Yikes. Shit, scotch at 9.22 in the evening would kill me. <laughs> How you doing, buns? Glad to hear. A little tricky. What's up, Jackhammer? How you doing? We'll Trying to improve the DR and the SR. What race are you doing it on, Buns? managed an eighth place in nations last night I had one chance to do it started eighth and finished eighth caught damage early on it was my fault I got into the back of cantilever just the tiniest tap and I got damage on the front Salters pushed me around for the first stint to help me <laughs> but uh, we we're all the way up to fifth at one point in top split and then yeah the damage took its toll and we ended up uh, going back. We did not have the pace of those guys up front. Holy crap, they finished, I think, 30 seconds out in front. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was a tough race. Those guys are <laughs> those guys are so much faster. That's what happens when you miss the first round, though. You, I would have been in second split in that first round, but a bunch of people uh, left after that first round and ended up in top split. Did not have the pace for those guys. That's for sure. Oh, this thing can't take those curves at all. I should know that. I should know better. in here. So bad in there. Yeah, the little Honda. I don't, that's another car I don't drive very much either. But it should be fun around Glen. The Watkins Glen. It 
definitely have to get some practice on for that one tomorrow. Sim hub displays. No, I've heard of these though, though, like all these little apps you can use for tire temperatures and all that. I don't use any of them. Legs coming out of the corners in high gear. Good to know there, Jackhammer. Have you been doing some practicing already? I haven't even looked at it. I'm all out of chocolate milk now. Sad days. We got two more minutes. I gotta text my papa. Forgot about that. I gotta text him real quick here and let him know that the kids and I are coming by for a visit after school. Come on, don't do that. This is really hard to type with these gloves on. <laughs> like to come for a visit after school today. It's early day. Boom. See what he says. K Dub, what's going on? You're two seconds quicker till you told him that. All right. Good to know, Jackhammer. Good to know. How's K Dub doing? Looks like it's go time here. <clears throat> I don't think the Cayman's going to be very well, do very well here. <sighs> Got to do some dusting down here. Getting a little bit of dust on things. Judith back out front in that Genesis again. Oh no, we're going to be stuck waiting for GNN now. We got E30, Trump's back in here. Oh dear, we're gonna... I don't know, should we say hi to him? We got Trump again, boys. We got Trump again. Let's be nice to him, let's reach out to him. Have a good race. Let's reach out to him. Let's give him that hug first thing in the morning that he might need. And hopefully you won't kill us. <laughs> I never do. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. Trump, man, you just gotta slow your roll a little bit. Just breathe. And then you can get get some good races. Dad's doing well. He's, uh, like I said yesterday, he was able to get in and out of the wheelchairs now without getting pee pee slapped by the doctors. Um, and mom said, uh, Key 25 got me banned for a month because I hit him so far. Ah, that's what happened to him. He did get banned. 
<laughs> but yeah, mom was saying that uh, we have a tentative date of May 17th of uh, getting them home home. So mom's in the process of getting a TV set up on the main floor of their house above the fireplace. She's like, oh, we'll just mount a one. She wanted one of those picture frame ones. It's like, yeah, cool, whatever. That's a nice TV. It's not going to be as easy as just putting a TV above the fireplace. There's, there's no outlets up there. It's an exterior wall with a fireplace in behind. I was like, it's going to be a lot of work to mount that picture frame TV the way you want to mount it so it looks like a picture. So she's got drywallers coming in, electricians coming in, they're <laughs> cutting up the house, getting this TV mounted. Crazy. She's got his office desk completely torn apart from the basement office, moved upstairs to her painting room. Now she's moving her painting room down to the basement. So yeah, mom's been doing work. Getting ready to have dad home. How you doing, Will? Oh dear! That's a good start to the race. It's all quiet now, it's just us. Ah, I blew it. Yeah, I, actually, I did save the replay, and I watched it, too. And, uh, yeah, he came over on me on that one. It's just close racing. End of lap racing on that one. Damn, that sucks. seconds back from Will, all by ourselves here. Damn sausage curds are deadly in this thing, apparently. I see them all. Come back, people. Come back. What's up, Gary? How you doing? Happy Thursday. Well, I was doing well, and then we spun on the first corner. <laughs> well, not the first part of the first uh, first time through the sausages. The Cayman, you got to be real careful in here, I guess. Hey, Polly! Come, come race with me, Polly. We can have some fun by ourselves here. Sounds a little dirty. It's got that 420 livery on there. somebody to race with here. Mac, what's going on? I am driving reckless right now. Sausages, greasy little sausages. 
ruining my morning. No, the Cayman is dangerous on those curves. I found that out the hard way. We're not giving up, though. You guys ready for Friday? Some lobby fun? early last night. Whoa, hang on. What time did I get? I got up for the 7 o'clock race. I only had time to do the middle slot. What? It was a tough race. That was a tough one. That damage got me. It's a silly, silly mistake. I'm sure Cantilever wasn't too happy with me either, but I'm pretty sure he had a bunch of damage already. He got into it, lamb. Nothing getting in your way tomorrow. Nice jackhammer. <laughs> Mr. MCA made a comment on the stream there saying that he was way off pace like I was and he was just trying to survive at the last bit. That's why he wasn't going for any moves. But same with Salters too, and Salters, thank you for uh, helping me through that first stint with that damage. If it wasn't for him, I would have been way back. But he pushed me through until, uh, I think it was Windfire. Windfire? Or Def Sun. It was Def Sun. Came from the back, got third place. This guy's a beast. I tried the Sylvia yet. How's the Sylvia, Will? Let me know. like Will's avoiding those curbs too. Sounds good there, man. Try the Citron at some point today? Alright, alright. You're going to make me make clickbait again, though. <laughs> You'll probably have to put that... Uh, tune back in the chat there. I don't know if I took a picture of it. I don't remember. There's no fuel. Oh, you did the 2 p.m. slot. Yeah, you guys get all those nice slots throughout the whole day. It's one thing I wish they changed back. Well, I don't mind the three slots for the top split for the GT1 League, but... Need, um... How did he end up inside of me?
need to get rid of the two or the big gap in between the races. Berg. Well, you didn't change your tires, did you, Will? What's going on? Oh. Stuck again with GNN. Oh. I don't get it. get in the top 10 after a disastrous start. More slowing down a lot there. Target fixation on the back of the Citron. I just didn't want to hit him there. <laughs> no, don't do it, you slimy little son of a gun. Porsche's a handful over the curbs. Player from my lobby. Which player? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks, Jack Hammer. Appreciate it. Those curves are bad. What should we take after this one? I was thinking about taking the Audi TT, giving it a whirl, to see what it's all about. What do you guys want to see? We'll save the Citron for the last race. How about that? you play on a controller man I give props to anybody who can play on controller it's unbelievable I can't do it
Cool. This uh, Dark Hunter guy is dirts McGirts, man. Not leaving any space. Totally tried to play him clean there, and he just pushed me right off. It's hard to get a clean race in this one. It's a lot of bumping and bumping and grinding. Judith must be just bumping up that DR though with this one. That's the thing that Citron. It's like the Genesis. They can plow over those sausages so easily. Gobble them up. What's up, Shuffles? How you doing? That curb funny. It's my chance. It's my chance. It's all about trying to stay clean while you're driving. Sometimes you get punished for it though for being too nice. had his signal light on for the whole race, so we're not going to go up the inside. He's not signaling for it. Sounds good, Mac. We'll wait for the song, theme song. Alright, we made it back to date at least. <laughs> that was a tough race. That's a tough one in that Porsche. Let's see if Pops messaged me back here. I should be back in my room by 2.45. Perfect. Let's see you there. 
do 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 Double R Gary, what's ha what's happening? Root, what's up, what's up? That was a tough race. That was a comeback drive that one. Lost it in the first first sausages. Alright, what car are we taking? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? We're gonna save the Citron with a tune for the very last race. But uh, as for now, who was that? Who are we racing there? That guy. Good race, well done. Fun race. BMW, eh? Alright, Gary. Or Jackhammer. <laughs> Not Gary. Uh, BMW. Select from garage. The BMW. Which BMW? Where are you? The M4? That's a short shifter, that son of a gun, isn't it? We need a better livery on this thing. We need a better livery. Oh no, I had to take Mika to the vet last week to get her, um, what is it, kennel cough shot? I think that's what it was. She got a perfect bill of health. Which was good, but man, one one little needle. Well, 200 bucks. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. I say, do we do the, the Black Falcon representing? A lot of people have done it. Oh, there's their new one. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that one. It's got all the things on it. I don't know any of them. Spider Man, Spider Man does whatever a spider can. Uh, I don't know what one to pick. I don't know. McDonald's? Gracie McDonald's livery. McDirty. That's what I call it. Good old McDirty. I haven't had McDirty in... Since before Mexico. It's been a while. Alright, let's just slap this one on there. Call it done. Fly style. <laughs> they made the big beaver teeth on there. Silly. Silly, silly, silly. Vaccination for my cat is already 25. Which includes that. Really? Really? I don't know if we have any plans like that that include stuff here. I have no idea. I don't even have pet insurance. Knock on wood. What's up, Henry? How you doing? Look great from the side, but once I put it on, it had boobs on the back. <laughs> oh, dude, I've had that before where I picked one, I got it on, I go to do like a thumbnail, take a picture, I'm like, wait a minute, I can't use this. <laughs> That's funny. That's too good. Oh, gotta buy some tires, I guess. This thing is a short shifter though, right? Oh, she's a drift machine in third gear. All right, I figured third gear, you know, I could plant it. It'll be okay. No, no, it wasn't.
<laughs> no idea, just seen it used. Yeah, it's pro I should probably look into getting pet insurance. It's just like one of those things, just like that in Mexico, one of those things that... Hopefully never use it, but when you need to use it, you better have it. When, uh, back my old dog, Kiva, when her ACL went on her leg, that was, uh, it was like 3500 3700 bucks for the surgery on that thing. Holy Jesus, this thing. I don't know about this one. BMW feels slow. And really understeery. Holy crap. This thing's a shit box. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it does, dude. <laughs> it doesn't turn for shit. Let's see if I can get used to it. I don't know. This is a tough one. Yeah, probably. This one is... Uh, no, no. That's not the way we do things. Somebody wants to see a struggle bus in it, so that's what we're going to do. I drive them so you don't have to. <laughs> That's how we roll here. I don't mind. I really don't mind. I'll figure out what I can do with it, the best I can do with it. And we'll go from there. Oh, I spent a lot of time with this thing. doesn't turn there at all. Holy crap, Ola. Pretty sure this thing's a short shifter, though. Turn, you turn bucket. How did they let this happen? BMWs are renowned for their handling. What is going on? Why is it such a shitbox? Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Who do we got in here again? We got Trump back. So that explains why we didn't see Trump for a month. He got a ban. He got him. I think he highlighted him in, uh, in one of his videos, too. must be nice to have the people on your list or you could send clips to to get people banned. <laughs> Maybe that's why Trump is driving a little more respectable. Who knows? Break balance to the back. All right, we'll give it a go. I'll try anything. What did he say? I totally missed it. What did he say? <laughs> I totally missed it. All right, let's put that biatch all the way to the rear. He doesn't belong there. <laughs> How's Octane doing? Oh, he's ready to be? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's the only way you move up. All right, here we go. Holy shish kebabs, this thing is slow. It's 
is trying to kill me already. This thing is slow, guys. Big kerfuffle of cars right there. What happened to Trump? Is he waiting to let somebody else go by that he hit or what? He is? Holy oh, shit. And turned over a new leaf. Come on, little BMW. You don't have to push me. Don't have to push me. What are you doing, Joseph? What are you doing? Yeah, I felt like a pretty good move. I enjoyed it. Door kind of just opened up for us. We went for it. Let's see if we can catch up to these guys here. BMW feels a little bit better with fuel in it. Gonna watch and learn. I don't know if I'm the best to watch on uh, this track. I have a hard time with this track. It's definitely not one of my favorites, but. This car is not. It feels really lazy, this car. What's going on, you two? Come on, guys. The bus driver. <laughs> steer on this car is disgusting. Disgusting! Yeah, this is not a car that I drive very often, that's for sure.
trying my best with this thing. RCZ, yeah, we we'll give that a whirl. No tune. Let's stick with the no tuning. I'm down with no tune. It's in the title. I better stick with it, otherwise I'm just I'm just lying to people. Get all the hate mail. Jay, what's happening? So far, so good. <clears throat> Hope you're having a good day as well, too. I did do the second race in Nations last night. I started in eighth, finished in eighth. It was a tough, tough race for me though. We were up in fifth at one point, but I caught damage. And then uh, Salters decided to push me around for the first stint. <laughs> I didn't lose too much time, but yeah. We ended up finishing eighth. Matt, what's happening? It was a tough one, Nations Cup, man. That was, it was a tough one. It was fun, though. Just go for it, Trump. You don't have to push me, Trump. My car is way too slow. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. This BMW is terrible. not recommend this car. The BMW is pfft, terrible. Worst car yet. By far the worst car yet. Yeah, it's such a good car in real life, right?
Yeah, it must need a tune. I don't. You need to dial out the understeer on this thing because it's absolutely horrendous in this car. Good save by Fast Daddy Dave there. This cage on guy's dirty. Woo! Not gonna hold on to that spot, but. Trust T Dog though, he's good people. The Merc, that'd be another one to give a go. So RCZ then Merc. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's do it. Island, what's happening? Happy Thursday. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Fast Daddy Dave. <laughs> What's up, Sleepy? <laughs> yeah, do not take the BMW. So do not recommend. Cannot compete. Not with me driving it with no tune anyway. Oh no 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 no! Daddy Dave did T Dog dirty there. Is it that much of a short shifter? I knew it was a short shifter, I didn't think it was that big of a short shifter though.
All right, I will shift it crazy low then. Maybe I can find some speed. No speed to be had with this thing. Where's the nitrous button? I want a thousand shot. Give me the juice. Yeah, hit the like button. I appreciate it. Good save, Dave. <laughs> Good save. Yeah, I haven't figured out. It doesn't feel like it has the pace around here at all, though. Good race, Dave. No, we haven't tried the trophy yet. So we're doing the RCZ. I gotta remember the list. We're doing the RCZ, then the Merc, and then we'll try the... Uh, the trophy after that how about that what's up nuke how you doing how goes your thursday mac is back the return of the mac i did like the lexus i don't know maybe it was just the way that race played out that it made it feel like it was a good one but no go on the bmw i'd stay away from that thing The Lexus wasn't the easiest thing to drive, but uh, I, I kind of enjoyed it. Yeah, we're saving the Citron to the end, Mac. The last race will be the Citron with a tune. Make me lie to all my <laughs> people. <laughs> all right, RCZ. All right, RCZ. Is, is right there. and go all right i'm gonna grab a drink of water here real quick let the dog outside Get ready for this next race i'll be out of right the back oh you think so nuke even without a tune we're rocking no tune so Jack Hammer saying it's not bad without a tune, so I'll give it a go. I'll tell you what though, that BMW sucked. Alright, I'll be right back guys, hang in there.
That was weird. Just got a phone call from the Netherlands. Plus three one six five five seven three three seven six one. What they wanted. What's up, Slipstream? How you doing? Yeah, you do. Get in here, Slippy. Global leaderboard? Sure can. I think I saw some McGann's in there. But it's mo oh, it looks like it's all Citrons now. Windfire in the Genesis. McGann Trophy in 15th. Probably heavy tune. There's another McGann. Citron, McGann, and oh, Lamborghini up there. What? A Viper? Somebody put a Viper in the top 100. NSX. Another Lamborghini. Impressive. Mitsu. Yeah, there's another Viper up in there. Cayman even. Wow. Lester did it with the McGann Trophy. Yeah, look at that. Another Cayman in there too. Interesting. It is a real mix. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's what you were saying, Will. Maybe these guys got some crazy tunes on these things. I don't know. Can't get into my sesame snaps with my mitts on. How much time do we got? One minute. I already forgot what we're doing after the RCZ. Mercedes, haha! <laughs> yeah, you're struggling with this one, eh, Will? Don't snack and drive, I have to. I need my sesame snaps. Your normally your go-to, the RCZ. Oh, sounds good, Nuke. Hopefully the dentist goes well. I hate the dentist. Never had a cavity in my life, but my god, I hate the dentist. How does it take the curbs? Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad. That's a penalty. Alright, you can bomb the curbs with this thing at least. Alto, what's happening? No, nobody does like the dentist. Why does my wheel do that now? It's so weird. It's very hard. Get these snacks out with mitts on though. Memories, what's happening? Talking with my mouth full. Two to the back, excellent. I will do the same. So get this. GNN, I see you, I see you. What are you driving? Okay, okay. Get this. The Speeders Pro Speed Tournament for Edmonton is sold out. So we're going to have a stacked group of people on Sunday for the race. So I got my work cut out for me to try and keep my streak going. But this Sunday could be the end of the Sam Squanch streak at Speeders. But I messaged Duffel Bags to let him know that it was sold out because I was excited about it. He's like, oh, dude, I, I'm on the list, but I don't think I can race. I was like, well, why not? Yesterday he's at work. He's a heavy equipment operator. He's doing something way up on the cab of something. Six plus feet off the ground. The poor guy fell. 
He fell, luckily didn't hit his head, but he landed on a piece of concrete on his back, his lower back, and he actually broke his back. He's, he's sore, he's able to move around, so it's not like paralyzed or anything like that, but the poor guy broke his back yesterday, or the day before, I don't know when it happened, but. So duffel bags, if you're listening, man, we hope you get better soon. He was very lucky that uh, it wasn't worse. It took him it took them over an hour to get him out of wherever he was, and then off to the hospital. But damn, I hope duffel bags is doing I. Right. Used to drive a front end loader. Coming through. I've always wanted to mess around with diggers and stuff like that. RCZ feels sexy. Ooh, I don't know if I could stream the race or not. I know my GoPro has the ability to do live streams. But I'm not really sure, um... Not really sure how to do it and how well it'll work. Cause there's quite a few gaps in between races, so it'd be a lot of stop starts. But I'm definitely gonna vlog the whole thing, so. There will be a video of it, for sure. If you haven't seen the other videos, there's uh, other ones up on the channel there. There's the, there's a few of them actually now. There's the Calgary one, there's the last Edmonton one. But yeah, I, th I might have to email her, because I was thinking about this too. If I get there early enough, and if I set up a laptop, and everything and get the Wi-Fi and all that working, I could take all my stuff and I could potentially stream like just one corner of the track, just put it on like the crazy hairpin or something like that and just leave a live uh, live stream going by itself. I wouldn't be looking at it or talking in it or anything like that, it would just be like a live feed camera, that's kind of all it would be. But I'm looking forward to the race, it's going to be good. Peace out there, sleepy. Don't work too hard. second penalty must have punted somebody must have been what happened to that gold Subaru back there That's pretty decent. Yeah, Trump's turned over a new leaf with me. I like it. Just 
just don't touch his car. Don't look at it the wrong way. We don't want to make him angry. Hopefully that wasn't a penalty. Yeah, no doubt, eh? Still not as fast as that damn Citroen. Gotta move the brakes more to the rear. Put them all the way back. Stop, you son of a gun. Can only do so much. Michael, what's happening? Yep, pedals are inverted. Yeah, there was a lot of customization required for mine. Well, not really. It was just unbolt them from the, the base. Those V3s look like they were a little more involved to do. CSLs were very easy to reverse mount, actually. Take them out, drill some holes, nut and bolt, done. I like having the inverted pedals. My nation's race was uh, interesting to say the least. I started 8th, finished 8th. We were up in 5th at one point, and then we caught damage and kind of dropped back after that. That was a tough race though. I really struggled to find the pace around there though. Just like Slipstream though, I found the 36 is just before the race. And that made a big difference. <laughs> but I think the best time that I got was a 36.7 around there and I couldn't, I couldn't get anything better than that. These guys are doing, I think the qualifying time, pole position in my lobby is a 34 second lap time, 34.3 or something crazy like that. Sosa did it. Sosa is a fast, fast driver. My god, look at the tire wear on this thing. Yeah, the RCZ is alright. That tire wear is too much though. That's a penalty. You just got yourself a penalty, Polly. Dealing with a pregnant fiance, hey? Well, that's a, that's a tricky one, but you, you can manage. I'm sure you can navigate your way through that one. Definitely been there too. I remember when uh, Kit's mom, when she was pregnant with the uh, with Jade, near the end of the pregnancy, the snoring. Holy shish kebabs. Oh, and he quits. She was like sucking the paint off, not even the paint off the walls, like the nails were coming out of the drywall. It was so bad at 3 o'clock in the morning on a work night. I left the house to go find earplugs. I drove all over the city at 3 o'clock in the morning. Ended up at like the Super 8 motel with a truck stop parts store. I <laughs> uh, got my earplugs.
Yeah, that's the thing, man. Those women's bodies go through so much when they're pregnant. It's unbelievable. So, gotta gotta be patient. That's for sure. Their brains aren't working right. Their bodies are all changing. They're confused as fudge. Emotional. You gotta suck it up and feel their emotions and relate to their what they're feeling. Not come up with a solution for their problem. Just relate to how they're feeling. And that'll help. You try and come up with solutions all the time like most men do. <laughs> it doesn't work very well. Nah, kids are fun. They're a lot of work, but they're a lot of fun too. They grow up so damn fast, it's crazy. Can't believe it. Tristan's turning 13 next month and Jade will be turning 9. Got myself a teenager. Fifty percent, no, it's a hundred percent. No matter what. Yeah, just be there for her. That's the biggest thing. All worth it, though. Just not enough to get up there with the rest of these fast guys. Oh, this turned out to be kind of a boring race here. I made this, I talking with a girlfriend about this the other day, I saw a pregnancy test, there's a lot of pregnancy test commercials popping up on the show that we were watching, and it made me start to think, it's like, their commercial is basically like, oh god, not now, not now, I can't, I can't be pregnant now, kind of thing. Back in the day, those pregnancy commercials were like, oh yes, we're pregnant, finally, it was like this happy thing, now it's like, oh god, I might be pregnant. <laughs> use this uber expensive pregnancy test with lights and bells and stuff on it to tell you everything. It shows you the shift in society over the years. Yeah, right? I just thought it was interesting because like 15 years ago you never would have seen something that's just like pregnancy test. Oh my god, we're pregnant. You know, you like the happy couple sitting in the bathroom waiting all excited for the, the test to come out. Now it's just like some woman sitting by herself in the bathroom going, oh god, oh. <laughs> that's so bad. Speaking of bad, you're driving, Joseph. Yeah, the BMW is more fun of a race. This one's a twiddle your thumbs kind of race. I'm not driving this thing very well though.
Mr. Jade gets to go on a field trip tomorrow. This class is going to the Ukrainian Cultural Center. North of the city or east of the city. He's looking forward to that. His mom's going on the field trip with him, so he's like extra excited about it. Yeah, man. Talk to the dads. Dads have been there, done that. David, what's happening? Yeah, we're kind of stuck in sixth there. Just cruising around, having a chitter chatter conversation. That's about it. Nothing crazy in this race. We did start at the back though, so it's not too bad. We got GN. GNN catching us here. This thing chews up its tires like crazy. Nadim, what's going on? Happy Thursday. Yeah, the RCZ just, the times fall off with this thing in the end. Tire wears too much. Ah, excellent, Michael. It's not all about racing here. <laughs> not all about racing. We got life support too. <laughs> yeah, combined with all of us put together, we've all had a lot of experience in different things, so. Oh, I was hoping that was the last lap. Damn it! Just ready, ready to call it done. Yeah, kids are fun. Sometimes they're little assholes, but they're fun. Do you know what you're having, or is it going to be a surprise? I didn't get the surprise thing. The kid's mom wanted to find out for both of them. She was a planner, she wanted to plan things. Have everything all themed. So yeah, I, I knew I was getting boys before before they came out. Oh, you have a little girl, eh? Nice. Well, congratulations, man. Congratulations. You'll have to let us know when the little one comes into this world. My, uh, my sister's got two, two daughters and a son. And I'll tell you what, her, <laughs> her middle daughter, Julia, ooh, she is a firecracker, that one. She's the queen of the side-eye. She will side-eye the shit out of you. <laughs> it's funny. She's funny, though. Smart girl, but, and crazy, crazy athletic, that little girl. She's built like a brick shit house. My dad's brother, he's got six girls. Six. Can you imagine having six girls? Six kids alone, yet six girls? Holy shit. Really, Alto? They told you and you knew they were wrong and you stuck to your guns and you were right. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, there's no mistaking on both of mine that they were boys. <laughs> no mistaking. No mistake in that at all. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted a little girl, but you know what? Got myself two boys carrying on the Wenzel name. That was the main priority, carrying on the Wenzel name. So job done. Now they just got to stay alive and have their own kids. It's on them now. <laughs> you got two daughters? Oh, nice, nice. Better race for you, Will? 
Ah, I wasn't a big fan of that RCZ. It was all right in the beginning, and then it kind of meh, mehed out <laughs> after. All right, what are we doing? The Merc, the Merc, the Merc, the Merc. Where are you, Mercedes? There she is. That's a bright livery on that son of a gun. What was after the Merce Mercedes? Had a boy first, girl second, I'm done with the kid thing. Yeah, I'm definitely done with the kid thing too. I'm not having any more, that's for darn sure. No siree. Was it the was it the trophy after this? There was one more before the trophy, I want to say. I can't remember what it was though. <laughs> oh, and how did your wife feel about that there, Alto? When you were buying girls' outfits and uh, she was prepared for a boy, how'd that how'd that go over? That'd be a cool surprise though. What's the question marks for, David? Did I miss something? Let me go back. Did I miss something? I don't think so. I don't think so. Why the question works, David? I'm confused. She seriously thought I was absolutely mad. <laughs> I bet. I bet. What's with all the question marks? I'm confused. Use words. <laughs> Use your words. <laughs> Is it because the likes are free? Hugs are free too. <laughs> oh yeah, the TT. That's what it was. So it's this, then the TT. That's what it was. That's what we're going to do. David, what's with the question marks? I don't want to see that many question marks. I don't, I'm don't. i usually pretty chill when it comes to stuff, but that can stop. <laughs> I'm wondering, Henry's doing the same thing too. Henry's trolling him back. <laughs> All right, let's see how this SLS works around here. Why Mark Lewis? Dude. Might have to take care of you there, David. Use your words, though, please. Be having your chances. Thank you, Jackhammer. I have questions also. <laughs> We all have questions. Whether or not we have the answers to those questions, I don't know. How does it take the curbs? Not too bad. Not too bad. He's been hammered. Jackhammer. Been Arriva dirtied. This thing feels a little more nimble in the front end. Oh, she pushes there. Pushes on throttle with the understeer. Hammer smash. <laughs> <laughs> Questions without answers are just statements. I like that. I like that. Have another cracker. 
little cracker. What time is it? 11 o'clock already? Holy shit. Man, time goes by so fast. Especially with these 10 lap races. All these longer ones. Time flies by. I should put the brake balance on this thing. Try to the front a little bit. Ooh, definitely don't want it to the front. That was weird. Totally locked up. Asking the people at the Glen Rose Hospital if I could bring Mika into the hospital so she could see grandpops. I don't think they'll let me. Apparently, you are allowed to have dogs in there, but Mika will sh absolutely piss herself if she saw Grandpa and go absolutely ballistic in there. So, probably not the best thing to bring her in. Mika loves grandpops. Grandpops. Loves dogs, but hates the fur, hates the poop, hates the pee ruining the lawn, like hates so many things about dogs. Oh, I don't want that dog in my I don't want a dog fur in my house or my car. And then when the dog comes by, he's all getting snuggly with her and giving her pets. It's fine. Man, I don't get that. You saw that though, hey Will? He got D Trump banned for a month. So I know Chunky has done he's mentioned this a few times where he's he's thought that um Kimmy is a very high up ranked driver that's undercover testing the penalty systems and things like that by just racing dirty and that the theory behind that is, is because he hasn't been banned. I don't know enough about Kimmy. I don't know if he's ever been banned or whatever, but uh, kind of would make a little bit of sense if he wasn't banned. He never got banned with how much publicity he's got out there. He's never got a ban. Maybe he is testing something. Who knows? That could be it too. It could be something he said too, Jackhammer. That's very true. That's very, very true. Oh, I missed you in there. Are you 30? Oh, it's getting hot in here. I turned the heat down. Jesus. Key 25 snitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, we're getting back to Genesis and Genesis and Citrons. Mr. Dorian, what's going on? Kimmy is Lewis Hamilton. That would be absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. How's Dorian doing? He has been banned. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, that blows that theory out of the water then. Thank you, thank you. It's 
we could have Rec Lewis on my alternate account. <laughs> Alright, let's see how the Mercedes does. Thanks, Emrys. Thanks, Alto. Every time. Whoa! <laughs> that was a good wheelie. <laughs> Every time I try and go around the outside of somebody there, it never works. I don't know why I do it. You think I would have learned my lesson? Nope. I don't learn a lesson. Are you kidding me? Mercedes felt a lot more nimble without fuel in it. And you put fuel in it, it turns into a tank. It's already chewing through tires, too. Oh dear, oh dear. Not feeling this Benzito. Yeah, that's a good jump. Yeah, we're going to take that Citron out for the last race. Put a tune on it, see what we can do with it. Watch, I won't be able to drive it for shit. <laughs> oh, car's going everywhere. Bounce off that curb into him. Oh well. Oh, do you? Yeah, when you get thrown in with the A's and the A pluses, those are your times to shine. Those are your test, your tests. You'd be like, ooh, can he move up? Let's see. Let's put him in here. See if he can do work. If you do work in there, then you move up faster. Getting freebies, that's all we're getting.
What's up, Island? How you doing, man? in the trophy. What's up, Kiwi? How you doing? You're having a good Thursday. Hope you had a good week. Guess there's one more day, though. Gotta make it through the Friday. does not like that corner. I know it's you, soldier. I know it's you. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Ow. That hurt. Looks like Will's enjoying this trophy a little bit more than other vehicles. <laughs> Stop hitting that curb, you dumbass! I was just saying, I haven't had McDonald's since uh, before Mexico. Let's go get a dirty, dirty quarter pounder with Chez. A Royale with cheese. Oh shit, I guess we should have pit, hey? Oh well. You guys want to try an experiment? Remember how we saw that, I forget the name of the driver, but they went into the pits on the very last lap and didn't get a penalty? You guys want to try it? Just not pit till lap 10 and then go in? Nah, the tire won't make it. Never mind. Retracting statement. Rebind. Delete, delete. Don't do it, Will! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs>
Was it Judith that did that? No, it was somebody else. It was another... Uh, uh, I can't remember. It wasn't Judith, though, I don't think. It was another female name. Ah, uh, I can't remember now. Tires are cold. Oh, really? Just soften it up so you could absorb the sausages? Must be flying because he like didn't even start the race. He dropped all the way to the back. Turn. Niz Niz is struggling. <laughs> he's struggling. Still can't catch him, and he's off the track. Shit, Niz Niz. Come on, man. I was right beside you. Can't just turn down on me like that. Come on. And he quits. And he quits. You gotta pay attention to what's going on around you, people. What's up, Hugo? How goes your Thursday? Ooh, Judith with the devil's time. She got that 666. That's how she got all these races. She sold her soul for DR. <laughs> Part of the Illuminati. Mercedes is okay. It feels really sluggish, though. <laughs> That's what most of the people out there now, man. Zero spatial awareness. It's like people that wear headphones all the time out in public. I couldn't do that. I couldn't have my ears plugged in where I couldn't hear my surroundings and what's going on around me. Couldn't do it. The other night when uh, Tristan was at his friend's house for a little study hangout session or whatever, Jade and I went out for dinner. And this young, two young dudes came in, there must have been fresh in their 20s, early 20s, sat down at the table, one of them opened up his laptop, put on his headphones and started doing homework, and the other one put on his headphones and started playing around on his phone. No conversation, no nothing, just sitting at a table out for dinner together, completely ignoring one another. It's really weird. I get it. You got homework and stuff. I get it. You gotta unplug every once in a while, you know what I mean? Right? Can't hear somebody creeping up on you? I, I like having a, <laughs> an awareness of what's going on around me.
this is turning into another pouring race. Slidey, slidey. You know that, right? Flash, flash. It's like a flashbang, man. <laughs> I thought you were going to say just blind them with the good looks and stuff like that, but you know, go with the chrome dome, sure. <laughs> the whole idea is to not look like a victim when you're out in public. <laughs> I wouldn't go walking around downtown Edmonton like I used to do back in the day with my buddies. I don't even know if I'd go cruising around like we used to do some dumb shit when we were younger. Downtown there was this 97th Street. It was like, it was like Hooker Row. And like we're talking nasty, nasty, nasty like street walkers. <laughs> we used to go cruise around and throw pennies at them and shit. There's a Reminds me of a story. I don't know if I should say it live on YouTube, but fuck it, we're going to anyway. We're gonna leave names out of it, but we'll involve what kind of car we were cruising around. And it was a, it was a Volkswagen Corrado VR6, crazy plum purple, tan leather interior. We're cruising, throwing pennies at these poor women. We were assholes. Don't judge me. We're young. It's when we were 18. Cruising around anyway. We're doing that, and we did that. And uh, one of their uh, owners, I guess you could say, decided to come run out in front of us with a baseball bat. And uh, my buddy, who was in charge of the accelerator pedal in this Corrado, decided to just uh, rev it and drop the clutch. We had this, we'll say, business owner <laughs> hit the hood over the windshield and over the roof. <laughs> we never looked back. I wasn't driving. He was gonna, the, the hood of the car took a hit from a baseball bat, so. Yeah, that's what we used to do when we were 18. Now you do something like that, you probably just get shot. Oh, Will's gonna try it. What happens? Is Will gonna get a penalty? Let's see if he stays ahead of us. No, he dropped behind us, but he didn't get a penalty. Oh yeah, he did. He got a penalty. Okay, thanks for testing it, Will. What's up, Truth? How you doing? Night fighters. <laughs> yeah, we used to do some dumb stuff back in the day. Some dumb stuff. But who doesn't do dumb stuff like that when you're 18? 19, 18, driving around. Stupid. Just being stupid. I would never do anything like that now. How much DR have we lost today? I haven't been paying attention to it. Ah, oh, not too bad. Oh, T-Dog. Nice, nice. What's up, T-Dog? Thanks for tuning in, man. Nice. Bum, 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 ba, dum, ba, dum, bum. All right. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that's 100%, Hugo. Not even foolish. Young and dumb and full of... Yeah, we won't go there. <laughs> All right. What time is it? 11.22...
Are we taking the TT? Do we want to see how the TT does? So TT. Then it will be... No, we don't do settings. Pfft, settings. Changes settings. And then we're going to do the Citron with the tune for the last race. And see how bad I embarrass myself with a tuned meta car. <laughs> Watch me end up in the same place. <laughs> That's awesome truth. I've had some missions like that. Another mission we had out at the lake when we had the cabin out there. We had one of those little paddle boats. Where you sit there and you just paddle in it. Two of us. With the little turning rudder in the middle. Buddy Brody and I. He's actually he's uh, married to my cousin now. This was well before they were married. But... Uh, both got just hammed out at the lake and we decided it'd be a good idea to take the paddle boat out for a ride in the middle of the night we got in that paddle boat and Brody was, he was pretty drunk I always had my balance, Brody was a little bit different with his balance but we started paddling and paddling and paddling, we made it to like this fleet of sailboats out in the bay Like it was, we were out there for a while but then on the way back we decided to like try and go underneath piers, just like it really low in the paddle boat get underneath the piers we got stuck then we got ourselves unstuck and we finished off all the I think we brought a half a bottle of tequila with us out there and uh, some beers and we finished it all and Brody decided he had to take a piss and he was going to stand up on the back of this fucking paddle boat <laughs> Whew. he didn't go swimming he somehow managed to do it but yeah drunken excursions out at the lake man so many so many drunken excursions out there Drunken garden raiding? Oh my god. We used to do so much dumb stuff out there. It's a shame that we don't have that cabin anymore. Now my my kids won't be able to do partake in those same dumb dumb things. See Alto, see I was thinking. It was like if we had like all the video cameras and stuff of today back then, we'd be like the, we'd be viral. You'd be viral. You'd be totally viral. Think about those kind of things. Maybe not the alcohol related things, but like I think back to like the kneeboarding behind the RAV4 on the lake in the wintertime. Viral video, 100%. It was absolutely. <laughs> what else? All the crazy tubing we used to do behind the boat, we used to go like full speed tubing and I'd just try and kill my friends. And they loved it. What else? Man, we used to do so much stuff. And like you got yeah, we'd probably be either you'd either be viral or in jail, one or the other. That's what that's how it worked for me, probably. <laughs> yeah, root, exactly. You'd be in jail. <laughs> you're either viral and famous or you're in jail, one or the other. Steering just gave up again. I say do it, man. If you guys aren't worried about your DR, just try random shit. If you want to try it, try it. Don't be scared. You're just going to be in last place or bullied or pushed around, but I'd say it's worth trying different cars. Oh, that would be fun, man. That would be fun. think of even like the tobogganing that I used to do back in the day. People would watch that because the chances you getting hurt were like way up here. I'm so surprised I never broke any bones and things like that when I was younger. Like I broke uh, toes and fingers and stuff like that but I never broke any arms or legs or anything like that. Probably should have a few times. There's a few times tobogganing in the ravine behind the house where I wrapped myself around some trees. Uh, this TT feels pretty uh, meh. Meh. That's, ex that's all that it means, man. That's all that it means. Who got the biggest DR? <laughs> Into a swamp and measure the distance to try and get it to the... <laughs> <laughs> nice. See, I that would be I'd be down with that 
I've always wanted to get a whole bunch of like old cars together and just go in a farmer's field and just have at her, <laughs> you know, put a mouth guard in and a helmet on and just start smashing. That's exactly it, Will. We're brittle, getting old and broken. That's, that's why I said to duffel bags, man. So we're not, the, not as pliable as we used to be. Oh, you're out of here, Matt. Missed that. Peace out, dude. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> so to Trailer Park Boys, you know it. Demo Derby. Yeah, yeah. It's like when Ricky gets in that front end loader. Starts moving. <laughs> this is when the, what was it, the trailer... Assistant Trailer Park or the Trailer Park International Trailer Park Supervisor of blah 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 blah. <laughs> Have any of you guys seen this new show that's coming out on um, Prime or Crave? I can't remember what it is, but The Trades with Ricky. I haven't watched it. I can't let Ricky be something else in my head. Ricky's Ricky. If he starts talking normal in another TV show. It's not going to be the same. Yeah, me is the truth. I'm going to stay away from it, though. I've definitely seen the commercials for it. Which makes me think. Rewind, like, the 20-some-odd years that Trailer Park Boys came out. Can you imagine what the commercials would have been for that show? Ricky, laying down on his hash driveway on a piece of garbage. Just give me five more minutes, bubs. <laughs> oh, run. oh, Jesus. Yeah, the things we do as kids. I never did, uh... oh, hiccups. Oh, Jesus. Never did get on the roof of a car ripping around. I definitely hung out the sunroof, though, and the sliding doors on the side. We used to just cruise around in the wintertime to try to get stuck. Oh, fuck off, hiccups. My buddy had a Nissan Access minivan with the double sliding doors on it. Oh, Jesus, these hiccups are going to be bad. And we would cruise by these fields. And my buddy Brett, I never did it. He's always stupid like that. <laughs> You'd do the, the Baywatch right out the side of the, the car and into the snowbank. Just... <laughs> All you see is fuck, head, feet, ass, head, feet, ass, head, feet, ass, arm. And just a puff of snow. <sighs> I gotta breathe slowly so these hiccups go away. Oh, truth, truth, truth. Yes, 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 I have. We don't have mailboxes like that, though. And uh, I can't, I can't even talk about what I did live on stream. I'm not going to. We made the paper, though. We made the paper. But I can't, I can't release that information live to the world. I'm sorry. <laughs> there may be repercussions even 20 years later. But it was it wasn't uh, mailboxes. We don't have mailboxes like that here. It was, uh, yeah, just leave it there. <laughs> it all started with the club. You know the steering wheel club sitting in the back. I can tell you what we we're cruising around in a 1970 Monte Carlo, big boat of a vehicle. Gavin's dad had the club for the steering wheel, and I was in the back, and I went, Krump! and I was like, oh, that looks like a baseball bat hanging out the windows yeah need a lawyer for sure <laughs> we won't go there but it was one hell of a night let's just say uh, some 40s of the old English actually I don't even think it was the OD the OE it was the big bear we are getting straight resi on it but we were drinking 40 pounders big bears Oof. malt liquor at its finest I apologize for my hiccups, everybody. Oh, shouldn't have held 
my breath like that. Whew, dizzy. Sometimes the only way I can get rid of headaches is, or hiccups is by holding my breath. Trump, man, I appreciate you some clean, but you gotta stop hitting me from behind like that. Just break a little bit earlier, that's all I ask. Ah, uh, stupid hiccups. back in this thing. Is this stream freezing? Hope not. TT was a bad pet, guys. No, for you, Hugo? It's weird. It's, I've noticed it lagging a little bit when things get crazy and loading screens and stuff like that I've noticed it not freeze but kind of blur out and lag a little bit Man, apologize, but you broke way early there, dude. Usually, Nizman's pretty quick. I did not expect him to break that early. Maybe he wanted to go for the cut back on him. I screwed that all up for him. was early, wasn't it? It wasn't just me, right? Sometimes I think it's me, and I just say they break early and I'm breaking late, but that one felt like it was really early to me. You missed not much there, Octane. We had some pretty uneventful races. The last few cars we've been taking have been the best. RCZ, meh. Mercedes, meh. TT, meh. a little push for knocking him out there. That was my bad Nismo man. Didn't mean to kill you. Just don't break that early this time, please. I don't even see any brake lights coming on on that car. Weird. No, we have not tried the GTR. We're going to do... I got time for one more race after this. We're going to... Ugh, stupid hiccups. I'm gonna break my rules and my thumbnail and my title and turn everything into clickbait. And we're going to take the meta with a tune. <laughs> Just to see. Just to see how I do. Oh, these hiccups are killing me.
freaking penalties. I'm all out of chocolate milk. <laughs> no, I had to hold my breath till I black out. Hit the reset button. That's one of the only things that usually gets rid of my headache or hiccups when I hold my breath for too long. Go night night. We're struggling with tires a little bit here. It's one thing I'm lucky on. It's very, very, very rare that I get a migraine headache. Headaches, I used to get them quite often. That was back when I was in the trade though, huff and brake clean and chemicals all day long. But I don't, I don't get headaches as much as I used to. He's back. Do you get bad migraines, Slipstream? All over the back of this Viper. In case you guys wanted to see the back of a Viper up close. Figure I'd give you a view. Like days on end. Oh man, that's terrible, dude. That's terrible. Should have. I should have hit the last lap. Would have got around this guy. Gonna join the next race? All right, sounds good, Slippy. It'll be my last race, and we will be in the Citron. We got a tune in my Discord too, apparently their slipstream for it if you wanna slap a tune on it. Yeah, it is a tuning one. Both B and C are tuning this week. I haven't, I don't mess with the tunes, so. Everything you've seen today is no tune. No tune, and that's why we're driving around to the back, probably. Hopefully a whole whack load of people come into the pits here. It feels like I got zero grip now. Go, go. 
house close. all of a sudden. Holy crap, my body temperature just went up. Some insane amount of degrees here. I'm like, almost sweating already. From nothing, it's just like nothing to almost sweating. I'm okay though, I'm not having a heart attack or anything, we're all good. How's my body resetting the hiccups? <laughs> I think the hiccups are gone now. <laughs> Sweating now, what the hell? <sighs> Thanks, Jackhammer. not look like a good drive. I like the way it handles. No, don't get me wrong. The Citron is uh, definitely a car that a lot of people sleep on. Especially in like manufacturers and stuff like that. Guletsky always used to take it. He was the crazy guy. I remember him taking it in sport all the time. I got nothing against it except for this week. Because it's the meta. And you know me. I get sick of seeing the same car. Every single race, racing the same damn thing. Need some variety in your life. It's like getting a pack of Skittles or gummy candies and eating only one kind of the gummy candy. You gotta taste the rainbow. stupid. Just got my first podium on the wheel. Oh shit, nice one Root. Well done, congrats. He's real nice. Now to log off while I'm ahead. <laughs> We're purple. We're purple. Lose all the purple right here. I think I'm going to have to start a GoFundMe page to get a direct drive wheelbase. <laughs> I don't want to wait anymore for Fanatec. Just buy another one. Once again, driving around by ourselves. If you want to hang on, Slippy, after uh, this race, I'll be loading up the Citron and putting the tune in. You can see it then. Where are you going, Joe? Tracks that way. TT 
choice too. <laughs> it's just like, go, stop, turn, go, stop, turn. There's no real flow with this car. It's just meh, meh. Man, that's the second person that's got a dentist appointment today. Good luck, Root. My little one hates going to the dentist. He got out of it last time by acting a fool. The dentist just didn't want to have anything to do with it. Bring him back in six months when he's a little older and more mature. That's the exact words the dentist said. Jade has a bit of a gag reflex, and when he decides to turn it on, that uh, dentist backed up so fast, so fast. He put a finger in his mouth just to check. Jay did the, the <laughs> dentist backed right off, <laughs> wheeled back on the chair right quick. That's when he's like, you know, we'll we'll wait a little bit. They'll take care, Root. And <laughs> just ask for M and M's. Question is, are they P and M and M's or regular M and M's? I love my peanut M&M's. I can only have those on weeks. JJ's not here though. He's out, dude. You're a peanut guy? Nice, nice. Are you gonna try truth? Do it up, do it up. Are you on your main account? You're crazy if you're on your main account, bro. Brah, brah, broski. My damn kids, Tristan, saying brah all the time, and I've noticed myself saying it. I'm not a brah, dude. <laughs> They'd be like, I'm from the dude age, not brah. Be like, what's up, dude? Not what up, bro? <laughs> it's crazy time. Need another Canadian account. Man, I need to like, just lock myself in the room and try and level up another account all the way up into Mega A+. Stuck with that high pre, see? No, nope, not on this account, sorry. Is what it is, can't change it. Oh, your alternate's the UK, gotcha. Oh, I'm getting tired too here. Yeah, exactly, right? That's what I'd want to do. That's what I was hoping to do. But, uh, yeah. Okay, Citron. Where's the Batmobile? There she is. Let's find the settings. There we go. Perfect. Citron. Citron is, you ready, Slippy? Five and seven. Twenty five, twenty five. 25, 25, 50, 50. Get your 50, 50. Get your 50, 50. Um, 2.75. And 3.05. And the differential is a 5, 40, 40. There, 5, 40, 40. Yep, 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 we're good. Did you get that? You give up, Will? Oh, oh. All right. We're loaded in.
Got it. Get it. Got it. Good. Perfect. Very rapid and stable. All right. All right. I'm gonna go let that dog out quick, real side. I hear him wandering up, wandering around upstairs by the door. I'll be back. We got six minutes. Give me a few. Yeah. See? Did you hear? I can hear. Her. All right. I'll be right back. Brat, she just stood out there and wanted to be outside. <clears throat> Little brat. All right, <clears throat> Citroen. Let's get some zestiness happening with this thing. Wow. That's a weird feeling of understeer with that one. Uh, what brake balance are you running on this thing? Three to the rear. Okay. Thank you. Wow, that front end feels so weird. Like it just, you feel the wheels disconnect when you get the understeer, but it doesn't really push. Interesting. Oh, you can really hammer the curbs of this car, too. Yeah, that's like Mika, too. Mika's funny, though, if it's raining outside or anything like that, she doesn't want to have anything to do with outside. Little princess doesn't want to get her paws dirty. <laughs> Even at the dog park, if there's a big mud puddle or something, like that, she'll avoid it. But in the summertime, you take her down to the river, that oh that wasn't very good okay all right it's 
I was wondering when I was gonna encounter a car that would make me spin going over that. Found it. That's like little Lyra, man. Well, not so little Lyra. I call her little because she's just younger, but she loves being outside, that dog. The dog is so big now, though. Oh, you set a quality nice. I didn't mean to set that time, so you'll be right there with me then. That's perfect, Slippy. Perfecto. You out of here, Mac? You so, dude? Of course, Mac gets the phone call as soon as we get into the Citron, eh? We have to watch it back. Well, take care, Mac. And everybody, come join me tomorrow for some open lobby shenanigans. It's going to be fun. I don't know what track we're going to start with tomorrow. That's always the hard thing, figuring out what track to use. Hey, Slippy's right in front of us. Nice. Good luck, sir. <clears throat> I promise I won't, uh... Was Truth in here too? Oh yeah, he's up there. I didn't even see ya. Nice. I didn't have time to say hello. No time to say hello, but I say hello. Hello, hello. Truth up there with a decent enough time. Good luck, you guys. Somebody in a Mazda? Really? I didn't. I missed that. Toyo in the Mazda. Oh shit! Where's the Mazda? Where's the Mazda? I don't see a Mazda. I'm blind. Oh, if you're talking for the races, Tokyo's in the Mazda. Ha ha ha! Got it. <laughs> Brood X in the Samba bus. The slowest race ever in human history. I did see one short from Rory that was pretty funny. It was that uh, Alsace with the crazy uphill, downhill where everybody in the race got stuck going up the hill. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm here! Holy crap! 
grapple. Stop hitting me. Thank you for hitting me, Slipstream. <laughs> left slippy all right go over that blind. What are you doing, you twit? If you want to block the inside, cover the inside. Don't leave a car's width. And then decide to turn down on the person when they go for the move. It's just silly. Silly behavior. was crazy. Blockers. They just, people like that just don't like being passed. Hold it, hold it. See why everybody's taking this thing. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. oh, so close to death. So close. Big save. Hola amigo, como esta? Ya, 
Yeah, hope being fair. What? Can't control what other people do. Oh, you broke pretty darn late there, dude. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be one of those fast drivers that thinks you're entitled to the spot. I've encountered a few of those kind of drivers before. Or they're definitely faster, no doubt about it, but they just push their way by, just like, ah, oh, get out of my way, you slow ass. That's not how you do it. Bye. Let's go for a gamble. We're not changing tires. We're not changing them. Let's see what happens. Last race. Let's get crazy. Let's get crazy. Come on, let me go. Let me go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. guys pit already? Definitely is easier to push a car out of the way, that's for sure. News, gonna go for the pits there. We're gonna go for the pits there, stay on the inside, people. This guy just gonna push his way through. What is this guy doing? All right, I'm taking this guy out. Greasy snaps. Pops, you're going down, homie. What is wrong with this guy? Oh, 
This is gonna be good. <laughs> Told you I'm not good at taking people out, but we're gonna try. Pops is going down. Get out of here. Whoopsies. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Drive like that, you're going down. Oh no, truth's off. Is that truth? Yeah, it is. It's true. on the tires now. Driving the wheels off this thing. tires. That would be a fun one too. Shit, that was close too. Hey, look who we got behind uh, Slipstream coming through the pack. Slipstream though, you should have put a Canadian flag next to that name. Slippy changes his tires. <laughs> he might catch us. She's getting slidey. She's getting slidey.
Maybe I should have changed tires. Ah! <laughs> you can't get me. You can't get me. I'm over here. Nope, I'm over here now. <laughs> turn anymore <laughs> go for it slippy take the inside I'm out of tire thought I might be able to hold it maybe it was the shenanigans with Papa Papa num nuts over there Whee! <laughs> oh god she's not turning slippy I'm sorry She's not turning anymore. Oh, freebie! Freebie! <laughs> Shit, I gave us damage by going too slow, didn't I? Oopsies. Go, car, go! Slippy, I just about lost it and went sideways straight into you, homie. All right, we're gonna defend the inside. There's no, oh, he had a penalty, no! <laughs> Yeah, you definitely want to change the tires in this thing. Whee! All right. Juan, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for popping in. That's it for me, guys. I'm done. My hands are done. My brain is done. I'm done. That was a fun race, actually. The, the Citron is a lot of fun. I know I hate on it. It's the meta. Everybody's driving. It, it was a lot of fun to drive in. Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. That's <clears throat> so true. Hey, Hugo. So true. Man, think back to the when the first time you got into an online race. I know for me, first time I got into online race, the first one I ever did was GTWS. And I was flipping nervous, man. So nervous. Because I had built my DR all without really racing. It was all through sport, really. But yeah, it was, it was like top split right away. Peace out there, Hugo. I'm gonna call her done here too. Take the dog for a walk and then go pick up those kids and go visit Grandpops. Oh, of course Pops decides to leave. Dirty son of a gun. Hey, we went up DR, yay! Well, we didn't go down any further, we stayed about the same. So that's not too bad. Alright, let's click that back over to there. Peace out there, Gary. S7R, you know it, you know it. We on the team now. You like the BMW? Ah, oh, I didn't like the BMW when I was driving it. <laughs> num num eat it up <laughs> alright guys that's it for me thank you all for tuning in hitting that like button hitting that subscribe you know all the stuff that you gotta do when you YouTube but uh, yeah I'm out of here guys gotta go do some real world stuff but uh, back tomorrow Friday open lobbies the Friday shenanigans so uh, make sure you have a Mazda Touring Car Roadster because we're definitely going to be rocking that. But yeah, come join us tomorrow. We'll have some open lobbies. Last place picks car and track, and that's how we roll. No damage, there's no damage, no tire wear, no fuel, no ghosting. It's just an absolute shit show sometimes. It's a blast though, absolute blast. But that's it for me, everybody. Peace out. Remember to keep it creasy. Oh, yeah. I'll get in touch with you, Slippy. I gotta, I'll gotta. i do that tonight. I'm going to get on and, uh, you know, do the thing, make things look fresh and new, check them out. But uh, thank you again, Slipstream. 
And yeah. Anyways, I'm out. Peace out, everybody.